Potato Day. With Shay the Chef. How about this? Today's menu, cod fillets with lemon, garlic and thyme crust, served with minty, mushy peas. Uh, uh, no. Roast pumpkins. Did that last week. Glass noodles with shiitake mushrooms. Oh, sizzling saucepans, I don't know. Maybe today's dish should be something really simple. Yeah, yeah. Woo, yeah. Woo. to cut the Honey! Oh, sorry. Actually, you're just the person I need. Can you help me? You see, I'm entered in the school speech competition and, of course, I drew the short straw. What's your subject? The potato. Ah, the good old spud. We use potatoes a lot in the restaurant. I looked up all sorts of stuff about it, like... It grows underground, like it's got lots of vitamins and minerals and stuff. And get this, it was the first vegetable to be grown in space. There are so many things you can do with potatoes. You can bake them, roast them, boil them. Shane, you know more about potatoes than anyone I know. Can I practice my speech on you? Sure you can. That would be potato-tastic. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the potato is Hiya. a... Oh, oh uh, could, could you give me a hand here? Hiya, Maggie. Here you are, let me help. Oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Shane. What are you all up to? Honey was just practising her speech about potatoes. She's giving a talk at school. Oh, great. Let's hear it, honey. OK. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, oh. Groceries! More groceries. Honey was just about to practice her potato speech. Oh, potatoes? <laughs> How interesting. Let's see what you got. OK, um... The mighty potato. First cultivated over 8,000 years ago in ancient Peru. <laughs> <laughs> Peru? That's funny. It's not a joke. They really did come from Peru. Oh, um... That's very interesting. The... the mighty... <laughs> um... There's potatoes mashed, um, uh... Honey, you all right? It's just you're all looking at me. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and, uh, uh I can't remember what I was going to say. Then how are you going to remember for the competition at school? I don't know. Well, I can help. You've just got to trust your subject. Mario, throw me that potato. The mighty potato, king of food. Throw me another one. They're easy to grow, chock full with the good stuff, and they taste delicious. Throw me another. They're great to fry. You can cook them in a pie. You can slice them. You can dice them. Give them a try. Potatoes are great cooked any old way. So let's hear it for ba -da -ba -dum, Potato Day. Yay! Yay, Shane. Shane. Potato Day. Hooray for potatoes! <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, honey, come on. Mama Polenta, this idea of potato day seems to One, be quite popular. Two, it's given me an idea. Three. Do you think Honey would like a potato costume for her speech, or is that a bit weird? It would make her stand out in the competition. Yes, why not? Let's do it. It will be a lovely surprise for her. <laughs> Whoa! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird. I've never been nervous like that before. It must be because everyone's staring at me. Well, there's nobody here now. Why don't you do your speech just for me and my camera? That way, you can watch it back and see how great you really are. That sounds good. Thanks, Izzy. I'll give it a go. OK, just let me get you in the picture. Action. The potato, it's really super and it tastes so good. What's all this? I'm filming, honey. Yes, the potato. Oh, I love potatoes, me. Loved by all sorts of people. <laughs> Maybe not dogs. <coughs> and, um, birds might like potatoes, too. <coughs> <sighs> this isn't really working, is it? Look, Mama Polenta, I used backstitch here. You think that'd be strong enough? Backstitch, eh? I knew you were a great cook, but I never knew you were great at sewing. <laughs> well, Izzy's mum taught me. 
Now I'll just put in some padding. Ooh! How does it look? Like a potato! All right, honey. We're all alone. It's nice and quiet. Nobody to distract you. Let's give that speech another go. OK. The potato, it's more than just a delicious food. It's a bit of history. First cultivated over 8,000 years ago, this amazing... Honey! Uh, oh. There she is! Oh, we've been looking for you everywhere. We've got you a surprise. We made you a costume for your potato speech. Isn't it great? Um, I don't... Let me try this on you. You are going to look awesome. There we go. Over the head. I get your arm in there. I'm not sure if Honey needs a costume. Oh, Fantastic. Yes. Uh, what is that? A potato. <laughs> really? <laughs> look at Honey. <laughs> are you dressed as a potato? Uh, oh, marvellous. Oh. oh, good idea. I should video this for the Shane the Chef channel. <laughs> Is that part of the film? Um... I am really sorry, honey. I guess it was all a bit much. You think? Yes, yes, I know, I'm sorry. I just thought the potato suit would help your confidence. We'll get there. We just need to try again. I've got a better idea. Yeah? yeah? I'm going to quit. No. Oh, no! Yes, I just can't speak in front of people. I get too nervous. There. Now that I've made up my mind, I feel much better. But, honey... No, Izzy. Quitting is the right decision. I'm sure of it. It's weird. When Honey is singing, she doesn't seem nervous at all. That's it! Honey, I've got the answer. You just need to sing the potato stuff. Really? Yeah! Give it a try! OK, um... Gotta get me a spot as quick as I am able. Potatoes are my favourite, a root vegetable. Ooh, that's great. More, more. Potatoes are nutritious, delicious through and through. I really love them and I know so will you. Potatoes come in jackets, they're just so good looking. Wow. That's it, honey. That's my menu. Jacket potatoes with fillings. So, we've got tuna and sweet corn, beans and cheese, prawns, mayonnaise, and of course, potatoes. So, let's get cooking. Potatoes back in the oven. Say cheese and, and beans. beans. Enjoy our first annual potato day, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Attention, everyone. May I introduce Honey, who will mark Potato Day with a special song. Go on, Honey. Yeah. Here we go. Um. Go on, honey. Oh, oh, fantastic. Awesome. Hooray. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Uh... Yes, honey. Come on, honey. You can do it. OK. You can slice it, you can dice it, you can give it a roast. With beans and cheese, it's how I like it the most. Well Wonderful. Done. Oh, I love the potato and I'm happy to explain. She is smashing it, is he? No, she's mashing it. I owe it all to my friends, Izzy and Shane. Woo! Yes! Wow. That's my girl. Salad from outer space. With Shane the Chef. So, today's menu is going to be something amazing. Something people have never seen before. I think people have seen a fish. But have they seen this? This 
is a vegetable called kohlrabi. I'm going to turn it into a delicious salad. It'll go great with fish. Oh, yes. Interesting. <gasps> Aliens. Ooh. Wow. That is weird looking. <gasps> it looks like it's from another planet. Oh, no. Aliens. Come on. Let's go to Maggie's farm. We need a load more of these. <gasps> I'm telling you, no one in this town will be able to resist. Uh oh. Ah! Whoa! Hey, Jay, watch out! Mario, you'll never believe this. I think, I think, I've discovered aliens from another planet here in Munchington. Look! Jay, that's just a comic. But I've seen one with my own eyes. They come from outer space and they control your mind. Come on, I'll show you. OK. Oh, thank you so much, Maggie. Oh, it's my pleasure. Wow, there are so many of them. See what I mean? The aliens are everywhere. It's just a vegetable patch. <sighs> Look. They kind of look the same, but... Shh. I need to hear what Shane's saying. OK, then. Let's get these back to the restaurant. I'm glad they've found a home. It says in here that the aliens move into your home, then they control your mind and turn you into a slave. But Shane doesn't look like he's... Ooh, so beautiful. <gasps> Uh-oh! I think they got Shane. What happens next? They tell him to do what they command. Well, these little fellas are telling me they're ready to be picked. <gasps> they got Maggie too. Ooh. Come on, then. <gasps> and Dizzy. They're making them pick them up and put them in the boxes. What happens next? I don't know. I haven't read that far. Uh, um. Hurry up. Then the aliens take over the whole town. Everybody in town is going to love this. Um... Watch out! Phew, you. Jay, I can't believe it. But you were right about the aliens. Ah, uh, alien slime! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I can't pull my foot up. They got me! Ah, uh, get off! Ah, uh, it's on me! Don't be silly, your shoe's just stuck in the mud. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that. Paul! Ugh. Come on, Mario. Ugh. Oh, yuck! I've got mud on my trainers. Forget about that. We've got to save Munchington from the aliens. Right, well, we've got plenty of kohlrabi. Shall we use apples in the salad? Yes, let's pick some tarragon from your herb garden. We'll need that too. Look, the aliens. Let's get there. Huh? What's that noise? It's coming from the kitchen. Sizzling saucepans. The kohlrabi. It's gone. Hey, look. Muddy footprints. Huh? But... Who would steal kohlrabi? Uh, I'm not sure. Something weird's going on. Come on, Dad. Let's follow them. Here we go. Let's follow it. Mama Polenta. Oh, hello, Shane. Hello, Izzy. Uh, yeah, this might seem strange, but... We've been following these muddy footprints, but they stop here. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Mario and his muddy shoes. He makes a, such a mess. Is Mario here now? Not anymore. He and Jay ran in with a big box, took some aluminium foil, salt and some string. What for, I don't know. Do you know where they went? Yes, the town hall. Hmm. OK, it's tied down tight. You won't be getting inside our heads. 
Not while we're wearing these foil hats. You won't get anything from my mind. We know where you and your friends are from. And we know about your plan to take over our town and turn us into slaves. Go back to your planet and leave us alone, OK? Hmm, he's playing it cool. We have to show him we really mean it. Double check about the salt water. Yup, salt water makes him dematerialise. OK, my alien friends. These are filled with salt water. And we're not afraid to use them. Now go back to outer space where you belong. Ah! Jay? Mario? Uh, what's going on? Shay! Izzy! Hat! Uh... OK. You've got to put these foil hats on. You've just got to. Trust us. It's your only hope. OK. Woohoo! We did it! In your face. You're free now. Free. Ah, uh, OK. What are you doing with my kohlrabi? They're aliens. From outer space. They made you their slaves. With brain control. They're going to take over the whole town. And the whole world. It's all right here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are they OK? It's too early to tell. Boys? I wasn't being brain controlled, I was just trying to make a salad. And kohlrabi isn't an alien from another planet, it's just a funny looking vegetable. A vegetable that the whole town is looking forward to trying at my restaurant. Look, kohlrabi, a vegetable frequently used in salads. But, but, we thought it was, and you were... Yeah, um, I knew that. Well, I tell you what, come with me and I'll show you what I can do with your alien friends. Sorry about that. Right, so we've got apples, spring onions, tarragon, pumpkin seeds, walnut oil, lemon and our good old friend, kohlrabi. Let's get cooking. There you have it. Delicious alien, well, I mean, kohlrabi salad. All right, mm. yo. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm, yeah. Wow, mm. it tastes... Out of this world! <laughs> <laughs> OK, everybody, fresh fish. Thank you, Sam. No worries, Jean. And to go with it, kohlrabi salad. Amazing! Oh. Oh, delicious! Oh, yummy. Oh, it's delicious. And then, Jay thought the kohlrabi were aliens from outer space. Of course I knew they weren't, but Jay, he's just a kid. <laughs> Here we go. Um, um, mm. I mean, salad from outer space. <laughs> That's funny. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Mama, save me! <laughs> oh, Jay! <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, no. Bad hair day. With Shay the Chef! Morning, Mama Polenta. Good morning, Shane. Today's the big day. Oh, the annual Grosser Awards Gala Dinner <gasps> here in Munchington. And you nominated for Grocer of the Year. I know, such 
such an honor. I hear you're doing the food. Oh, yes. I'm doing fresh fish for the main course, and Alf's delivering some avocados for me for the starter. Oh, there's Alf now. I must go. I have to pick up my new dress and shoes before Carlos gets here. Carlos? What, the mobile hairdresser? Izzy tells me he's very popular. No one styles hair like Carlos. Oh, he has a magic fingers and a secret ingredient conditioner. Wow, exciting. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, thanks, Al. Mm -hmm. Oh, they look great. Bye. Mm. Morning, Shane. What have you got there? Avocados, Maggie, look. Wow, they look good. You'd never guess that inside that tough, knobbly skin is something smooth and quite delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> something wrong with Alf's horn. That's not Alf, that's Carlos! <gasps> oh, I'm here, Carlos! I'm coming! Oh, what a pleasure to work on your hair, Mama Polenta. See how it responds to my secret ingredient conditioner. So soft, so silky. <laughs> you hear that, Alf? Secret ingredient conditioner. Huh? Well, I'm usually fully booked, but I always find time for my favourite customer. So what do you think? Perfection, is it not? It, it is magnifico. Oh, Carlos, you truly are... Got to go. Busy, busy. Toodaloo. Oh, well, he did say he was fully booked. Alf, darling, what do you think? Uh. Is that it? Is that all you have to say? Uh. Oh, Alf, you are impossible. I'm going out. Oh, that man. 18, 19, 20. Brilliant, Mario. To me, to me. Here you go. Oops. Mario! <gasps> oh, boy! Mario? Uh-oh. Oh, Sam! I am ever so sorry. Are you OK? Quite all right, Mama Polenta. All ready for the Grocer's Awards Gala dinner tonight. I must say, your hair looks a treat. Oh, well, thank you, Sam. You know, it reminds me of when I was a floor sweeper in a Tokyo hair salon. You'll never guess what they used on the Japanese lady's hair. Lovely hair, Mama Polenta. Oh. Oh, hey, Sam. Is that fish for me? Because I need to get it started if I'm going to have everything ready for the gala dinner. Oh, yes. Right you are, Shane. Yoo-hoo! Maggie! Oh, love your hair. Oh, thank you, Maggie. <laughs> that Carlos, he really is a magician. Such a talent. Oh, what magic fingers. What do you think, Shane? Can't get fresher than this. No, that's grab not the it. gala dinner. Don't let it oh, get away. Oh, No, grab it, grab it. Don't let what? it get away. No. Grab it, no. quick, get it. No, yeah. no, no, no. Oh. 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 oh, no. There goes today's catch. And there goes tonight's gala dinner. Hey, Oi. come back here, you. Whoa. Where did that come from? Grocer Awards Gala dinner looking like this. You know, I might just be able to save the gala dinner. Oh, get it. oh no. Now the gala dinner's as messed up as Mama Polenta's hair. Oh, no. Uh, I know something that might fix her hair. Well, I better come up with something to replace the fish and fast. No. You know, there is something I use whenever my hair's being particularly difficult. All we need is my honey and a few drops of cider vinegar. Okay, Mama Polenta, what do you think? <coughs> Mama, what's up? Oh dear, it didn't quite work as I'd hoped. I might have an idea. Well, I'd better come up with something to replace the fish and fast. At least I've got these avocados. Sorry, Shane, Mama Polenta needs these. Huh? There must be something we can use to save Mama's hair. I'm looking, I'm looking. Ta-da! What have you got there? 
avocados. I tried them on my hair once and it... it kind of worked. What do you think? We've got some in the kitchen. Come on, let's go. No fish. Oh, no avocados. Well, what, what else can I cook for the gala dinner? Eggs. Right. I could do something with eggs. There they are. Thanks, Dad. Huh? And one last hairpin and... Ta-da! <coughs> ay ay ay! It's green! Oh, no! Uh-oh. Maybe I used too much avocado. I can't go to the gala like this. Oh, if only we knew Carlos's secret ingredient. Mama, me and Izzy have found something to save your hair. Eggs, Mama Polenta. Eggs? Oh, right now I try anything. Well, Mama, what do you think? You know what, Mario? It feels wonderful. So soft and silky. Excellent. Let's dry your hair. Uh, Mario, shouldn't we wait until... What? Oh, oh yummy. That smells like... Breakfast. Ah! Help! Mama Polenta, what happened? My hair is cooked. I used eggs on Mama's hair. The hairdryer actually cooked them. Mama Polenta's wearing a hair omelette. I'm so sorry, Mama. Oh, you were only trying to help me, Bambino. It's no good. You go to the annual Grocer Awards gala dinner. I'll stay at home. Uh, I've been trying to tell you all day. Fanori seaweed. It's a very popular hair treatment in Japan. I use it on my hair and beard. I'm not Carlos, but I think I can help. Ta-da! Magnifico! Hooray! Yes, well done, right. Sam. Sam, you are my hero. Oh. I'll be able to go to the annual Grocer Awards gala dinner after all. Well, with no food, there'll be no gala dinner to go to, Mama Polenta. Um, what do you want me to do with these leftover eggs and avocados? Mario, you're a genius. We can make egg-baked avocado. Let's get cooking. <laughs> I know. What a relief. And now the Grocer of the Year award goes to Mama Polenta. Me? You mean me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank Carlos, Sam, my loyal customers. And I love you all. Oh, oh brilliant. Excuse me. Uh, Hiya. Oh. Sam, are you going fishing tomorrow? I'd love to get fish back on the menu. I won't have time, Shane. Everyone wants my seaweed hair treatment. Yay! Wow! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time, please. In the pink. With Shane the Chef. Ready, Izzy? Now pull. Mm. Uh, need a... <clears throat> Yay! My first beet treat. My turn now. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, not too hard, Mario. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> can you really eat this? Of course. You can make loads of delicious things with beetroot. Even a cake. A, a cake. cake? Yeah, a cake. <laughs> <gasps> hey. Hi, honey. Sorry I'm late. I had football practice. Yeah, you need it. 
I know how to play football, thank you. Ha! Just watch the expert. Hey, that's my ball. Give it back. <gasps> I'm going to get it. Ha! Looks like Mario and Honey prefer football kicking to beetroot picking. Oh, <laughs> you're right there, is he? Beetroot salad? Uh, I don't know. Roast beetroot? Maybe. Mm. Beetroot tart? Morning, Shane. Parcel for you. Catch. Oh, hi, JG. Aha, my new kitchen aprons. I was waiting for these. Oh, that's strange. I ordered two aprons, not ten. And certainly not this size. Ooh, they're a bit on the small side. Oh, they're all kids' aprons. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just have to send them back. Hi, Dad. I've got your beetroot. Brilliant. Maggie says you can make cake with it. Is that for real? That's it. That can be today's special. Beetroot cupcakes. Izzy, you're a genius. I thought beetroot was only for salads. Aha, that's where you're mistaken. Beetroot's a wonderful vegetable. Such a lovely pink colour. Quick, we need a referee. Huh? I am definitely the best footballer. No, you're not. I scored ten goals for the school team last season. That's only because I was injured. Seriously? Are you two still arguing about football? Only because Honey won't agree I'm a better footballer than her. I'm just as good as you. Well, there's only one way to find out. A football tournament. Count me in. Back in the day, I was the best scorer in my class. Over to me, Honey. To you, Dad. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Now, when I was playing in the Mackerel Marauders, we won the Fisherman's League 20 <laughs> times in a row. <gasps> Fisherman's League? <laughs> Amateurs! Uh, Italy is the true home of football. Uh, keep it for the pitch, please. Honey, Mario, you're the team captains. I'll be the referee. And the winning team Get my special cupcakes. Mmm, I hope they're chocolate. Maybe, with a little something extra. <laughs> Come on, Mario, let's pick our teams. And I'd better go and boil my beetroot. Ha, ha, ha. Mmm, I've got more beetroot than I need to make my cupcakes. Uh, I know. I'll make some ham and beetroot rolls as well. That'll keep the footballers happy, won't it, Eddie? Wham! Wham! <laughs> Sorry, Eddie, but these rolls are for footballers only. Jay, Izzy, Maggie. Ooh, JG. Exciting. And what about me? I've been practicing my keepy uppies. Oh! Ah! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Watch this! <gasps> Amazing! <gasps> Bring it on, JG. And that's the last beetroot. Sizzling saucepans. Oh, well, <laughs> I've always liked pink. Now, let's get cooking. to the oven they go. Come on, Eddie, let's get this match started. Not to Sam, he's on the other team. Oh, uh, sorry, Mario. Over here. Oh, yes, yeah. oh, oh, that's, that's it. it. Yes. No, Mr. Singh's not on your team. Whoops. And she has the ball. 
and he's passing it. Hmm. Dad, to me! To me! Heads up! No, Mr Singh. Honey's the opposition. <gasps> Is she? It's no use. The grown-ups are hopeless. I'm here! Just in time, Dad. The grown-ups keep forgetting whose team they're on. Well, it's not our fault. We're not wearing any team colours. Ha <laughs> ha! Apart from Shane. Oh, yeah. That was the beetroot, Walter. You should have worn one of your new aprons, eh? That's it. That's the answer. Penny, I'm going to need your help with this. Of course, Shane. Everyone else, stay here and keep practising. OK. okay. Sure. One saucepan of pink beetroot water and one load of small aprons. You're going to dye the aprons pink? Yep. Well, half of them anyway. They'll make the perfect bibs for one of the teams. Fantastic! Oh, I hope this works. Ooh, Whoa! That's Ooh. awesome! Whoop, 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 whoop. Looks like Eddie wants to be on a team as well. Whoop. He's got better ball skills than a grown-up. Where is Shane? I'm sure he'll be here soon. Oi, oi! I'm here! OK, you two, heads or tails. Whoever guesses right, their team gets to wear the pink bibs. Tails. Heads. And heads it is. Here you go, Mario. Cool. The pink team is going to win. Shoot. Here we go. Here's Here's him. Him. Tuck him. Tuck him. Oh, I'm oh. OK. Ah, that's a free kick. Here we go. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Great save, JG. Can you tell who's the best footballer yet? It's me, isn't it? Nope. It'll all depend on the final score. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's me, it's me, it's me. It's me. It's me. Oh, no. <laughs> Great interception, Mum. Uh, go, Mama! George, uh, I'm coming through! <laughs> oh. oh, no! Oh, calamity! Go! Hey, that's not fair. Pass it over, oh, Eddie. Go! Hey! Go! Hey, that's not fair. My cakes are ready. It's a draw! It's official. Honey and Mario, you're both as good as each other. <sighs> OK, agreed. Agreed. Oh, Shane! These ham and beetroot rolls are delicious. I'm saving myself for the cakes. Here you go, my special tournament cupcakes. Wow, they look fab. Team captain first. <laughs> All right. Mmm. What are they made of? Is it chocolate? Not exactly. A little cocoa, but mostly beetroot. beetroot. Oh, um, mmm. Um, um. I love beetroot. Back of the oven. Great. <laughs> 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 All that glitters. Shave the chef. Hmm. Chicken surprise? Couscous special? Um. Huh? What's that? Hello, Jay. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Shane. Do you like my metal detector? I'm hunting for treasure. Wow, that looks impressive. Cool. Haven't had much luck yet. Yoo-hoo, Shane! Hiya, Mama Polenta. What you got there? Pomegranates. Oh, one of the most ancient fruits in the world. Whoops! <laughs> you can eat these? <laughs> they don't look much on the outside, do they? But when you cut them open... Oh, just look at that. Wow, the seeds look like jewels. Hmm. Dual pomegranate juice, obviously. Dual pomegranate chicken. And dual couscous. Dual couscous? Oh! <laughs> that sounds very glamorous. You might be onto something there, Mama Polenta. I wanted something different for the menu tonight. 
So how about a glamour evening? We could call it glam night. Glam night with jeweled chicken and jeweled couscous. And glamorous guests. <gasps> Everyone must wear something special. That's a nice idea, Mama Polenta. But how do I convince everyone to dress up? You worry about the food, Shane. Leave the rest to Mama Polenta. <laughs> Glam night, you say? Ooh, marvellous. We'll dress up for Shane, won't we, Sam? Of course, JG. It'll be just like the time I was presented to the Sultan of Orman in the Cave of Wonders. I was bejeweled in diamonds so sparkly, he had to put his sunglasses on. Oh, Sam! <laughs> Yes, okay, I'll give Eddie a brush too. Fantastico! Now, who's the next? Oh, aha! Maggie! Huh? You'll come to Shane's glam night, won't you, Maggie? <laughs> glam night? Well, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't have anything glamorous to wear. I'm dressed for fence mending. That's what this fencing wire's for, to stop Millie the goat escaping again. Nothing sparkly in your wardrobe? No, just overalls, really. <gasps> then I will lend you something. Come with me. Ta-da! Glittery menus. Great idea. Now we need to get these pomegranates de-seeded. Can I help, Dad? Thanks, Izzy. I'll show you. You hold your pomegranate like this, whack it with a spoon until all the seeds drop out. Go on, give it a try. OK. This is fun, but a bit messy. Yeah. How about you do the rest outside? Oops. <laughs> oh, I've really got to go, Mama Polenta. That fence needs mending. It's here somewhere. Uh... <sighs> Ta da! <gasps> oh, Mama Polenta, that's gorgeous. But oh, it's a bit too fancy for me. Nonsense, Maggie! Try it on! <laughs> OK. Oh! <gasps> wow! Now you are ready for glam night. Well, if you're sure. Oh, thanks, Mama Polenta. I'll look after it, I promise. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> huh. That's a funny-looking blackbird. It's a magpie. They like treasure. Anything that glitters or sparkles, really. I think it likes these seeds. Well, Dad needs them for our glam night. Shoo! Shoo! Go away! How's the metal detecting going? Haven't found any treasure yet. I'm going to try for just a little longer, and then I'm giving up. I'll see you later. Oh, maybe I can do this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Glam night, here I come. <laughs> Just as soon as I fix that fence. Oh, no. Too late. <laughs> Millie! And finally, the pomegranate juice goes over the chicken and into the oven. Timer set and... Millie! Uh, oh, that sounds like trouble. Millie! Oh, come back! <laughs> oi, oi, do you need some help? Oh, yes, please, Shane. Millie's escaped again. <laughs> no problem. Izzy, can you set the tables inside? I'll be right back. OK, Dad. Stay, Millie. Stay. <laughs> gotcha! Oof! Are you all right? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> uh, nice necklace, Maggie. Do you like it? Mama Polenta lent it to me for your glam night. It is very glamorous. Oh, <laughs> well, a bit too glamorous for chasing goats. <laughs> oh, come here, Millie! <laughs> shh, 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 shh. <laughs> oh, gotcha! <laughs> oh, thanks, Shane. Now all I need to do is fix Millie's fence. Well, you better hurry if you want to be back for glam night. Yeah, of course. <laughs> At least I've got this. <gasps> the necklace! It's gone! Well, it can't have gone far. It's got to be here somewhere. Oh, no! Oh, what will I tell Mama Polenta? Have you lost something? Yes. Oh, I've lost the gold necklace Mama Polenta lent me. I don't know how I'm going to find it. 
You can borrow my metal detector if you like. Thanks, Jay. Let's just speed things up. Oh, I found something. Woo! Uh oh, that was just a coin. Come on, let's keep looking. Here it goes again. Look. Ooh, there's something here. Yes, I've got it. Oh, sizzling saucepans. Oh, it's no use, Shane. I'll just have to tell Mama Polenta I've lost her necklace. Not you again. Shoo! I'd better get this indoors. Ah, just in time. Perfect. Now to prepare the dual couscous. So, I've got couscous, parsley and vegetable stock. Right, let's get cooking. for the couscous to be ready now. Oh, some glamorous farmer I've turned out to be, Millie. I don't know how I'm going to tell Mama Polenta I've lost her necklace. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow, Izzy, you look very glam. Come and give me a hand. I'll just fluff up the couscous and then we can put the pomegranate seeds on top. OK. That's funny. Why is a metal detector beeping, Dad? Oh, dear. Maybe it is broken. No wonder we couldn't find Maggie's necklace. Well, something's wrong. It's meant to be a metal detector, not a fruit detector. Hang on a minute, Izzy. What's that? Mama Polenta's necklace. How did it end up here? I don't know. Unless... <laughs> Hiya. Maggie, I saved you a seed. Thank you, Mama Polenta. I'm afraid I've got something terrible to tell you. You're not wearing the necklace. Oh, didn't you like it? No, I loved it, but... Welcome to Glam Night with Jewel Juice. Mmm, I like this juice. And jeweled pomegranate chicken. Yum. Delicious. Mm. And, of course, freshly made jeweled couscous. <gasps> the necklace! What's it doing there? It's a long story. Escaped goats, a missing necklace, a treasure hunt. <gasps> How exciting! But also rather... Glamorous, <laughs> Mama Polenta. Exactly, Shane. Glamorous. Just like you, Maggie. Oh, Shane. <laughs> All rise. With Shane the Chef. There. All done. That's going to look lovely inside the windmill. Is JG really going to get the windmill to work again? Well, that's the plan, and I'm going to help him. Whoa. Listen to that wind. That'll get the windmill sails turning. Should make plenty of flour for my bread. I still don't really understand how you get flour from a windmill. You just wait and see. What was that? It's my yeast. Look. It's full of bubbles. <gasps> it looks alive. It is. Yeast is a fungus, a bit like a mushroom. It'll make my bread rise. Once we've got the flour, I'll add the yeast, knead it and leave it to rise before baking it in the oven. And voila, you have bread. Mmm. Mmm. Can't, Can't wait. wait. OK, I'm going to the windmill now. Maggie and JG are probably wondering where I've got to. Oh, hi, JG. I thought you'd be there already. What? Oh, hello, Shane. Yes, yes, I was just on my way to the windmill when Mario showed me his magnificent kite. I made it. I call it the Taylor's Terror. That is awesome. Shane, look. JG programmed his drone to take pictures of the windmill from the air. That's going to be so cool! What? 
Oh, yes, that reminds me. I'll see you soon, JG. Yes, yes, I I'll be right along. I'll just be two ticks. Oh, what button was it again? Ah, oh, that was short, was that? Cool. Awesome. Look out. Watch out. Oh, you come back here, you little... Whoa! Oh, my. Sorry. Oh, my new scarf. Oh, that JG, always in a rush. So you see, the shaft turns the spur wheel, which turns the millstone. That grinds the wheat into lovely wholemeal flour for my bread. Well, that's the plan. I've replaced a few parts, but the axle's still a bit stiff, so I'm hoping JG can get it moving again. <laughs> well, I'm sure he will. He's pretty good at this sort of thing. Sizzling swordsman! Oh, what's that thing doing in here? Ooh, don't panic, don't panic. Just a sec. There. That's it. Sorry, folks. Slight hiccup. She was meant to land outside. Right. JG, can I leave you to take a look at the axle while I get the wheat? Leave it to me, Maggie. I'll soon get her working. Whoa! Oops. Sorry. Yay! I knew it'd work. Um, why is it spinning like that? Oh, Aww. no. Mario, don't kites need a tail to fly properly? Not always. Let's try it again. All righty -o. Here we go. Awesome. Woo, yay! <gasps> oh, oh, careful, no. Mario. Gosh. It almost hit Millie. She's going to eat it. Stop her. Uh oh, no, you don't, you naughty thing. <laughs> Sorry, Millie. It must be boring eating grass all day. What would you say if I said you might be eating grass later? What? 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 Grass? Uh. Come on, I'll show you. Here we are. That's wheat, isn't it? Looks like grass to me. Exactly. Wheat is a kind of grass used to make bread. Ugh, you can't eat that. <laughs> Not like that, you can't. First, you have to take the grains from the wheat and then take them to the windmill where they'll be ground into flour to make bread. <laughs> Easy, really. Amazing. Oh, wow. As long as we get the windmill to work. <laughs> ah. Do you think the axle's jammed? Most likely. I'll fix her in a minute. Just want to program that camera on the drone first. Look. Um, don't you think we should sort out the axle first? Ahem. <clears throat> Quite right, Shane. Quite right. Now, pass me the spanner. Here you go. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out, watch out. Oh, no. Oh, clamot. Ah, excuse me. Gotta go. JG, where are you going? Is the coast clear? Yes. Why do you ask? JG nearly ran me over. Almost made me drop my new scarf. Beautiful scarf, that is. Reminds me of a scarf I saw on a buck-toothed donkey. Huh? A donkey? Oh, but it was a beautiful donkey. Wait. Oh! Oh! oh, no, my new scarf! I think I fixed the axle. <laughs> I can't understand why JG would just leave like that. His drone just sped off and he went after it. He is rather distracted today. Can you pass me the torch? I just want to check nothing's blocking the grain shoot. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, don't touch that lever. Or I'll get a whole load of grain on my head. <laughs> Look out! Oh, no! Oh, my! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh, JG! Not oh. again. Maybe it does need a tail, like Jay said. Maybe you're right. We're not going to find one out here, are we? Ah. Whoa. How about this? Whoa! Where did that come from? It's perfect. Here, let me just... There. Try it now. Here we go! It worked! It's we flying! Yeah. Hey! Come on, kids! We think we've got the windmill going! I'm pleased to announce the opening of the newly repaired windmill. Hooray! Yay! Fantastic! Nice hat, Mama Polenta. I had to borrow it to keep my hair tidy in the wind because something made my scarf blow away. Hmm. Sorry. Are you sure that thing's under control now, JG? Of course. And it's going to take great pictures of the windmill. Everyone ready? Then I'll get the sails turning again. Yay! 
than I thought. I'll try this. Oh, oh. Look out, look out. What was that noise? The sails have stopped. Oh, no! That drone! <laughs> well, how are we going to shift it? Just needs a tweak. Ah, we could try using the kite. Sure. Oh, that's my scarf! Uh-oh. Oh, dear. This really is all down to me. Why don't you give it a go, JG? It's the least I could do. Go on, JG. Oh, oh, oh nearly, JG, JG, bring it really back. You're close that time. Oh, Very close. It. Try again. Here we go. Yes. Well oh, thanks, JG. You've saved the day. Sometimes it does help to focus on one job at a time. Come on, let's go make that flower. See. The wheat grain goes under the stone. They're getting squashed. Exactly. Hey, it's flour. Amazing. Ah, oh, there we go. Wholemeal flour, straight from the windmill. Now, who wants to bake? Me. 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 Let's get cooking. Freshly baked bread. Back of the oven. Here we go. Our first loaves from the Munchington windmill. Oh, wow. Oh, that bread smells amazing. Oh, delicious. Reminds me of the time when I baked buns for the Pope. Mmm, this from Gross. I don't believe it. Save some for me. Ah. Here you go, Mario. My kite, it's got a new tail. It's, it's our, our bunting. bunting. And Mama Polenta, I believe this is yours. <laughs> oh, my scarf! JG, you're my hero. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> 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 